reported today in The Verge. Facebook bans naming alleged Trump impeachment whistleblower. Facebook is removing content that potentially names the anonymous whistleblower who sparked a presidential impeachment inquiry, saying it violates rules against coordinating harm on the platform. The decision follows an earlier choice to remove ads featuring the name, which Republican political figures, including Donald Trump Jr., have publicized on Twitter. BuzzFeed reported attempts to spread the alleged whistleblower's name earlier this week, confirming that Facebook would remove ads targeting them. BuzzFeed noted that the person, a former Obama administration staffer and current CIA officer, has been a target for conservative commentators since 2017. But recent articles by the conservative sites Real Clear Investigations and Breitbart raised the officer's profile, especially after the Breitbart article was shared by Donald Trump Jr. It's since cropped up across social media. President Donald Trump has pushed for the release of the whistleblower's name but U.S. officials and many media outlets have refrained from printing it. It's not clear that the person named in those articles is actually the whistleblower, either. In a statement, Facebook concurred. Facebook says it is removing any and all mention of the potential whistleblower's name from its platform. pic.twitter.com slash yezibcoat7 Any mention of the potential whistleblower's name violates our coordinating harm policy, which prohibits content outing of witness, informant or activist. We are removing any and all mentions of the potential whistleblower's name and will revisit this decision should their name be widely published in the media or used by public figures in debate, said a spokesperson. A search for the name on Facebook found only a handful of results. Facebook has recently defended taking a hands-off approach to political content, particularly with ads, which CEO Mark Zuckerberg argues should not be fact-checked by Facebook. In this case, Though, it's justifying the decision under policies closer to its anti-harassment rules, at least while the name isn't widely reported. For more on this story, visit the news article link.